Scientists have found that climate change is shifting snowfall to rainfall on mountains across the northern hemisphere, leading to heightened risks of floods, landslides and soil erosion, with the North American Pacific mountain ranges, Himalayas and high latitude regions being particularly vulnerable. 과학자들은 기후 변화로 북반구의 산악지대에서 눈이 비로 변하는 현상이 나타나고 있으며 이 지역의 홍수, 산사태 및 토양 침식의 위험이 증가하고 있다고 전했습니다. 특히 북미 태평양 산악지대와 히말라야 산맥, 고위도 지역이 취약한 것으로 나타났습니다. We have two expressions here again. First, shifting snowfall to rainfall. 눈이 비로 변하다. And next, being particularly vulnerable. 유난히 특히 취약하다. Yes, so shifting snowfall to rainfall. Um, here the word shifting means changing. Um, uh, again, talking about driving, um, uh, you shift gears. You go from first gear to second gear to third gear. You can change gears, but the other word that we often use for it is shift gears. So it means some kind of change or movement or transformation. In this case, uh, the weather is changing from snow to rain. 네, shifting, 가 비슷한 단어는 changing or switching으로 갈수 있겠죠. 네. Shifting 같은 경우는 기어 같은 데서 많이 쓰죠. 기어 같은 경우는 이제 1에서 5단으로 쭉쭉쭉 바꿔간다. Shifting. 그리고 사람이 어, 앉아서 엉덩이를 좌우로 잡고 움직인다. You're shifting. You're being very shifty. <웃음> 운동을 할 때도 움직임이 아주 음, 상대방을 속이기 위해서 좌우로 많이 움직인다. Very shifty. Yeah, and the funny thing is, when we use it as a noun, it can mean something completely different. Um, mm -hmm. You're doing a shift on morning special. Mm -hmm. For two hours, you're working here. That is your work shift. Right. They also have a bad negative connotation when you say someone's shifty. Meaning they're suspicious. You're wondering what they're doing. They seem like they could be causing some kind Moving of trouble. Moving high and low, turning left and right, looking around to see what they can do to take advantage of the situation is how someone would describe someone shifty. You, you just looked a bit shifty Ooh. then. <laughs> My eyebrows are out of control sometimes when I get emotionally engaged in the roles. So, 눈이 비로 변하다. Shifting snowfall to rainfall. Next expression will be being particularly vulnerable. 유난히 특히 취약하다. Yes. So first of all, particularly here means especially uh, or extremely. And vulnerable, well, that means you're exposed to something or you're weak to something. Um, so in this case, some mountains are fine. Some mountains are not going to have this problem, but the North American Pacific mountain ranges like the Rockies, for example, or the Himalayas, um, they're going to be vulnerable to this shift from snow to rain, meaning they're going to be exposed to it. It's more likely to happen in that region. So particular is the word, someone that's very particular, 까다로운 사람이라고 할 수도 있죠. Uh, very particular about the way he dresses, the way he is uh, served his breakfast, two pancakes and half a waffle. Half a waffle? <laughs> My <laughs> goodness. No bacon, no <laughs> eggs, two pancakes, and no, not even syrup, Daniel? That's how particular that person is. 까다롭다고 볼 수도 있죠. Particular also when we talk it, talk about Particulate matter. We're talking about 미세먼지, which we mentioned a lot. 저희 뉴스에서 기상 캐스트에서 자주 나오는 단어죠. 미세먼지, 미세하게 분자 단위로 나눠서 아주 아주 디테일하게 particular. 특히 유난히 especially. Exactly. Yes. So, uh, so here there are certain regions that, gonna, that are going to be affected more than others.